on this video i'm going to uh, hold on let me <laughs> let me turn on the music on this video i'm going to motherfucking myrtle beach that's right i have i actually live in an area where i have three big cities within driving distance so i'm gonna drive to them and go thrifting and see if i can find anything so i'll let y'all know when i get there Finally made it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and strap on the GoPro and then go ahead inside. Hopefully they'll let me film in there. If not, I'll come out and show y'all what I got. Um, so yeah. Never seen a Goodwill so big in my city, in my town. It's always so small in my town, shit. Let's just see what I can find. That looks familiar. Shit, we'll see. Red copper, five minute shift. I'll take it. Here. Like, what is this? Oh, it's just a case. Pretty much gotta check everything, cause... Kitchen supplies is not my territory. Oh shit. Bro, I'm breaking everything. Alright. No. Nothing. Whole thing decided to fall apart. That's right, I put it back together. This sells for a lot for 20 shipped, and it's only $3, so I'll take it. What is this? What? what? Please be worth like 80. I'm gonna pick this shit up and use it. Not, not bad. Sells for like 50, 60 shit. How much is it? Eight bucks? I'll take it. All right, if you have not saw, I picked up this leather golf bag because it's eight bucks. And if I don't sell it on eBay, I know someone will take it in my local area for like 40. So, so it's pretty much a no brainer. All right, done with this Goodwill. I'd say I got about 160, 180 of uh, potential revenue from the store. So not too bad. And I got five more, so let's get it. While I was pulling out, I just had a pedestrian stop. Look at me. And then both of them backed up and waited for me to go. That's how you know there's some bad drivers in Myrtle Beats on God. <laughs> All right, Convention Army, you know the drill. If they let me record, I will. If they don't, I'll show you. Found the HGC helmet. It's a vintage police helmet worth about 80 shit. $10. Alright, so I went ahead and picked up this bread maker, 80 shipped, and then I got this uh, cassette tape here, vintage one. It's about 110 ships, so not too bad. I think that would do Salvation Army. Alright, got a bread maker, a cassette tape player thingy, uh, and a vintage helmet, which all together should be about. 240 revenue and just three items so not too shabby for this small little salvation army here i'm about to go hit up another goodwill and then after that i think there's two more thrift shops further down myrtle beach and i want to hit up 
uh, hopefully one of them doesn't close before I get there. I know there's a Goodwill further down. That's one of them. And then there's another place. I forget what it's called, but you'll see. Third thrift stop. Let's get it. God, motherfucker. Sewing machine 24. It's got a lot of accessories. It sold for 40 plus shit. So, take it. Probably test the sewing machine. Light turns on, that's a good sign. Yep, works. Yeah, I think that about wraps it up. I'm not finding anything else. Just really, I'm, I'm looking, but it's, I ain't finding nothing. All right, got a sewing machine from this good. Pretty much it. Place is big, but not really anything good. So on to the next one. Let's get fourth stop uh, at a Goodwill. Let's get it. A vintage Robocut vacuum cleaner with an attachment. So in the box, one shipped for 80 pre owned, and this one's 16. So I'll take it any day. So what else is there? I have a fucking remote here. It's a remote for four dollars, kinda weird. Oh shit, I might be in the head. Oh boy, Walmart stores. This thing's really heavy. Yeah, get it, why not? I'll do two vacuums. Let's go. Alright, two items. Let's keep it going. Alright, I'll be done. Got two vacuums for a potential profit of around, let's see, 180. Yeah, it'd be profit. 160, 180. So, on to the fifth stop. And I think there might be a sixth one. I got my fucking power juicer, which is 80 ships. In this condition, I say 60 for eight bucks. Not bad. I also got a printer, but I might put it back depending on what I find. I picked up the speaker right here. And they're about to close, so I think that calls it for this uh, thrifting a bit. All right, end of the day, that's what I got. I got, a, got a printer so far. I got some dots and some remote down there too. That other stuff is mine. Let's see what we got in the trunk. Can't go to the other Goodwill, so this is fifth and final stop. I got a juicer, 80 shipped. A cassette tape player thing is about 110, 120 shipped. I got a golf bag is about 40, 50. Um, if I sell it locally and then probably 70 80 ships that um, Helmet right there is vintage it's 70 ship. I got the foot massagers about 60 70 ship The bread makers about 80 ships um, I got the vintage alarm clock. It's about 20 25 ships. I got this uh, Five minute craft thing. It's about 30 ships some other stuff in there that's what I can see off the top of my head and then come over here we got a sewing machine it's about say 160 200 shipped it's a computerized so it goes for quite a bit we got this vacuum right here is about 80 to 100 shipped and then this vacuum right here is 80 shipped I'm expecting like 50 60 profit from this and then like 50 profit from this so not too bad and then I got that subwoofer right there it's about I say 50 ship because it's so beat up it's probably what it'll sell for so not a bad haul I'll go ahead and list this all and then tell y'all the grand total um see you back at my place alrighty 
I did the calculations. Got it right here on a notepad. Uh, for everything that I've listed from uh, the trip on Myrtle Beach, Oop. total revenue, disregarding eBay fees and shipping, is $863.27. Not too bad. Total profit, uh, regarding shipping fees and eBay fees is $768.31. Not too shabby. All right. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be sure to answer them and I'll see you in the next one.